In this lesson, we are going to talk about the geometric interpretation of determinants. So given that A is a 2 by 2 matrix, the area of a parallel parallelogram is determined by the columns of A is just the determinant of A. So let's look at, uh, let's look at a simple idea of this. Okay. So here's the idea. Let's say I have somewhere out here, let's say this is a, a units, so this is going to be at A0. And up here, I have, let's say somewhere here is going to be 0, let's say 0 D. Okay. And uh, we're assuming this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. Okay, so we have, okay, so we can think of this, let's just say this is, right, we have a vector here, 0d, and another vector here at a0. So if I, if we form, if we, if we form a, a, a parallelogram, okay, we're going to get, okay, right? If I extend if I extend this side over here and this side over here, then we get a parallelogram. Okay. So the matrix, okay, so let A. Okay, so the matrix A is going to be equal to okay, the, so this the vector on this axis will be the first column of A. The second vector here along the y-axis, this is going to be um, in the second column of A. Okay, So there's our matrix. So if we take the determinant of this matrix, then we get simply A times D. And that's exactly the area that we have here. Okay, so the base, right, the base is length A and the height is some D units. So we get the area of this is A times D. So this is actually going to lead us up to an, a, a way to, um, we can actually use this idea to determine the area of a paragraph with, um, given just the vertices. Okay. So here's an example of this. So the key to this, okay, the key to this, again, the key is to, we need to put our, we need to make sure that we're working from the origin here. Okay. So let's look at an example of this. So let's say we want to determine the area of a parallelogram with given vertices of Minus one zero, uh, zero five, one negative four, and let's say two one. So let's go ahead and plot these on here. Okay, so the first one we have minus one, uh, minus one zero. So that's going to be uh, here somewhere, let's say. So minus one zero. Okay. And the next one will be zero five, so that's going to be up here somewhere. Then we have uh, one negative four. So let's say this is one, and then down four units. Okay, so the next one's going to be 2, 1. So 2, 1. So 2, 1 will be here somewhere. Okay, let's connect these now. Okay. okay. So 
So minus one, negative one, negative four is here. Okay, so there's our parallelogram. Okay, so we want to find the area. We want to find the area of this. Okay, so I'll just label my axis here. Okay, so again, if we, we want to use this idea up here. So we need to somehow we need to shift we need to shift everything, so that um, the we want to make sure that the furthest most uh, point to the left is at the zero at the origin, okay. All right. So we're gonna shift everything here. Okay, so we want to so we want to place everything. We want again. We want to put this whole shape on on the right side of the y-axis. Okay, so that we can use this this idea up here. Okay. So I'm going to say okay. We're going to have so we're going to let minus one zero. Let's, let's go down here. So let minus one zero shift to the origin so that way by doing this then we can then every point every all the other vertices will automatically be in the are to the right of the y-axis okay so again this is just you're using a transformation here okay that's something we talked about before all right so let's uh so that means minus one so we need to add okay so we need to add one Right, we're going to add one to the x value and keep the same y value. Okay. So let's do the same for the uh, for the other points. For zero five, zero five. Okay, we're going to right since remember we're going to add. Okay. So zero five is going to become uh, one five. Okay, keeping the same y value. Uh, one negative four is going to become two negative four, and two one is going to become three three one. Okay. So there's our new those are new uh, our new values. Okay. So zero zero one five two negative four three one. All right, let's plot these then. So zero zero, okay, it's here. Uh, one five, it's going to be up here. And two negative four, it's going to be down here. And three one. Okay, so let's draw the shape. Oops. Okay. Let's do like this. Okay, no problem. So let's see, we had it was at three, let's see, three one. Three one was where right here. What was the other one? Two negative four. It's down here. Okay, so it's it's kind of like this. Okay, all right. So it's the same area. We just all we did is take this one and shifted it over. It was just just basically it's a shift. Okay. So then. So now using, okay, so using this idea up here, this theorem, okay, we're going to look at, we're going to look at this vector, okay, and this vector here. Okay, so my matrix A now, okay, okay, matrix A is going to be composed of, this is going to be, uh, the first column will be, uh, one five. The second column will be two negative four.
Okay, so the area, okay, the area of this of this parallelogram is going to be equal to the determinant of a, and that is going to be minus four minus ten. But we take the absolute value of this because it's the area. So this is going to give us fourteen. So this is a nice property uh, of using determinants. Okay, so the idea is that you, again, you have a shape, you need to, that shape is defined by these coordinates. And then we can do a transformation, or in this case, just do a shift. So you want to take the furthermost point to the left and shift it over to the origin, and then apply this theorem, apply this idea here. Okay. There's some other, uh, there's some other geometric, uh, geometric examples that I'm going to show you. They're a little bit more involved, but they also use the determinant.